How's it going, you beautiful people? My name is Jesus Dragon, and welcome back to more Azer Lane. Okay. I know, a Saturday upload. What in God's name, am I right? But hey, I'm working today, yeah. Mainly because I wanted to finish the events in like the span of two weeks. I really didn't want to just drag it out tomorrow on Monday, just do, you know, one episode. Because I don't want to make you people suffer through that. I respect you people. That was... Did the game crash? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> What the- f <laughs> Okay then. He's really decided definitely not today. Azure Lane. <laughs> that surprised me. <laughs> Game just kind of rebooted on me. Talk about talk about a morning surprise, eh? I'm really trying to rebuild my coin stash after you know spending all of it. But anyway, a right to protect what is dear, an oblivion finale. So begins the decisive battle. I repeat of the past. That's history. It will not repeat itself later on. Defeat flagship, defeat third against her fleets, fiddle enemies, and the boss herself is Zara. Yeah, I only have one summary at the moment because that's due to training, so by all means, I'd like we need to. But thou, wise goes back to such annoyance. Why is thou not why is thou not the Mount Delectable, which is the source of a, and cause of every joy? asked Virgil, the poet. Of I, please teach you, my teacher. Please save me, my savior. The name of the god you never knew. Help me escape this woe and torment. Take me to the place of which you spoke, so that I may see the gate of Saint Peter, and the souls of those so tormented. I believe that's from Dante's Inferno. And in the end, they never came. Correct. We informed the Iron Blood as soon as we engaged the Royal Navy. But something about night battle having too many unknown va variables. But all of her he heard was a bunch of verbal garbage. Huh. Yeah. One of the cannonballs around, just like the Visha Dominion. I was full of hope we were brought to the Crimson Access. Looks like we just paused for their reenactments. It's almost time for the denouement, Benito. Indeed, this reenactment is about to come to an end. The only thing left for us is decide whether it ends in comedy or tragedy. Abandoned by allies, backed up against the wall. So Degna has one last hope. To fight until the end and hope they prevail. Let's move. Let's end this once and for all. This will be the end of uh, this event for my channel. Even though usually like the EX stages have a little bit more story, they are level 120, and my highest is level 100. My highest fleet is like around level 100, so they currently do not stand a chance, unfortunately. Those 20 levels make a massive difference in like the raw power of ships. I do see, even this level 64 ship takes a bit. Don't know with me currently. Oh. 
perfect. Yeah, I got my food, I got my drink, I'm good to go. Hopefully next week I'll be able to start streaming again, actually. There's gotta be a lot of Astro Fleets to take out, so I'm gonna have to do some of these without ammo, I'm better. I'm going to remark on this one final time, just for the sake of it, but this fucking music is so good. I'm sure you can do that airstrike. Ah, eh, Yorktown got excited over nothing. Now, our levels of this fleet are fortunately incredibly high. So we'll. So we can definitely overpower everything here, even without ammo. Like level 90. These fleets have been my pride and joys for a while now. I do wish I had my Italian fleet, but it's still under construction. I don't have all six ships just yet. I just need uh two more backliners and one more frontliner. So it's like halfway complete. I have uh, Zara, Pola, and Julio Cesare. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Oh my god, there's a lot of fleets! I also show this, my submarine only has two shots, because she's without her escorts. Uh, more examples of my stupendous planning, I guess. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Come on, come on, keep firing, darn it. I just want things to die faster. Also, definitely need an airstrike to break through. Okay, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I take down two more with this so that my UK fleet can bump up. 7% just from one submarine isn't a bad hit by any means. I just have my other two submarines training to get them to level 70 so I can maximum break them too. And I'm also attempting to retrofit Ranger, which is kind of fortunate because I need a level 70 for those frickin' giant commissions, so she's kind of their babysitter. Hang on. Sorry about that, someone was calling me. Seven get him, or you seventy three get him, maybe that's kind of unprecedented. Sorry, sorry, I'm just... <laughs> it's been a long week for me, so maybe this wasn't the best idea to record, but I kind of owe it to you guys to give some content that might not 100% be in my best interests. So, by all means, the show must go on, even if I'm kind of tired today. But hey, I'll make it.
Yeah, five left. Let's mop up. Uh, also, this is Javelin's first real battle since her retrofits. Apparently, she's already doing pretty well because this fleet is dealing more damage than it usually does. Probably not just because of her. I mean, this fleet does gain a few levels, but still, we are just having. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> ah, commentary is hard, people. You know how the world works. Yes, the ultimate power of the cat. Bite their fingers! <laughs> also, in a couple of months, in a couple of months, I'm not 100% sure when, but my upload schedule may be a little bit, uh, worse, because... I actually plan on taking a few college courses. I think two months, mostly just like a uh, foreign language and a little bit of video editing so I can learn a trick or two. I was going to my father likes to bug me about it. Which is funny, because he doesn't even live in the same state as me. But hey, are you going to college? You don't even live in the same state as me. Why are you trying to govern my life? Eh, family can be like that sometimes. That's just how they be, that's just how they do. Nice. That's kind of funny to think at some point I like fell out of love with this game. But then there was a point where I had some things to do, so I played it for like three hours straight. I mean, Operation Siren has been kind of meh for me, but maybe that's just because, like, I don't have the levels to keep up with this exactly. So, how many with this speed? That would be 11. So, 19, so. Okay, then. Just doing mental math on how many times I need to clean. how many more things I need to clean up. Yeah, I'll be doing quite a bit off camera. This guy's gonna help. Well, we got 19 escort fleets. It certainly does take some time. I still like how Latorio's here, even though I, she's never a boss, I believe. Because, yeah, we're still in her perspective when we fight uh, Illustrious. It's just kind of funny to me. Is this beautiful sea itself? The sea, illuminated by the glow of the pale moonlight, glimmered like a blue gemstone. The ruins of ancient civilization swaying like mirages along the shore, and life-giving waters that burped a home for so many people. The breathtaking scenery was almost a spiritual experience. And here we are, bringing cannons. The coast of the gods, they call it, as well as the jewel of Calabria. This is Sardegna's national treasure. This is the cradle that nurtured countless people, civilizations, and legends over thousands of years. Indeed, this is a trend that is, that is as resplendent as you and I being together, beautiful Signora. That last slide is necessary. Would you two mind telling me why you came here? They've come to make a wager between the Iron Blood's machinations and the Royal Navy's strength. Though we are part of the Crimson Axis, we wish to ascertain what we mean to them. Will this battle become their reenactment, or will it become the first page of a new future? Of course, we are still interested in spreading the glory of Sardegna. But now that all the actors assembled, the objectives of this play shall be revealed. Everything is for the sake of preserving the sanctity of this jewel. The only has always had the power to ensure the safety and stability of the Mediterranean. Why not just negotiate with Her Majesty? The Iron Blood had become more powerful than us. You know, stronger than you could possibly imagine. In due time, we would be swallowed by their darkness. As the purpose of Wager here, if your Navy falls here, what chance do you stand against the Iron Blood and their Siren Masters? The family reached mutual understanding, huh? 
Star-crossed ships bound by fate to battle. Lamentations of a sea ablaze. The girls dancing like puppets across countless reenactments. But at last... Res non vehebe. All these obstacles you put in the way are part of your wager, correct? Let me ask you then. <coughs> Shall we stop here and prove that you are capable? Shall we stop you here and prove that we are capable of protecting the Mediterranean? Would you join the Azure Lane? Yes. As fight up with the Imperial Fleet, you have my word. Very well. Barham, Valiant, let's fight for the glory of Her Majesty. Minable, holy bear support in your hands. Of course, you can count on me. Is your sister not coming? Let's just on a side trip to the Aegean. Asian. She's putting an end to the sirens there. She said it wouldn't be fair to play up against the entire illustrious class. Alas, what a pity. And here I thought I'd get to see all three goddesses of the Royal Navy in their swimsuits. Ahem! Zara, Pola, and all members of the Star Dragon the Fleet. This is our time. Allow the light of Star Dragon to shine. Lunga Vita al Imperio! This is it. Let's end this once and for all. Fire! Open fire. The Red Islands. So you ended up fighting after all. What was the outcome? Of course we won. The night belongs to us after all. Formidable Scepter T elegantly so they gave her report to her sisters. Well, so Tekna's ships are equipped with heavy armor, they don't have fire control radars. As a result, War Spite Night made quick work of them. I expect a result, but well done, nevertheless. Finally, the three sisters can enjoy a moment of peace together. Oh, I also wanted to beat up some enemies, an elegant way that only the goddess of victory the goddess of victory like me could accomplish. How unfair. By the way, our fourth sister will soon be joining us, and the Royal Navy will grow even stronger. And of course, our Royal Tea Parties will become a bit livelier. Ah! I wonder what your sister would look like. Could she possibly be cuter than Formidable? Hehehe. <laughs> Tori has pinched Formidable's cheeks as she teased her. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. That's our Diddy and Warship. Let Letter something? She asked me to pass on along a message for you, Illustrious. That's a very spirited one, if I recall. What do you have to say? Now, if I remember this correctly, when the passions of land fade at last, let us reignite the pa passions within us. Dreadfully broke, if you ask me. Well, I never quite know what those bunch are up to. I suppose they have plenty of problems to deal with eternally. Huh? What's going on? Hey, that's my line! What's the meaning of this having a tea secret tea party behind my back? And Elizabeth, while strolling the garden with the entourage, with her entourage, saw the sisters gather for tea. Madame Illustrious, Madame Victorious, Madame Formidable, good day to you. Good day, Your Majesty, Belfast. As it happens, Your Majesty is so excited that tea is just ready, and they offer you some treats, my, my trip to the Asian. Want to join us for sweets and a spot of this lady conversation? <laughs> Back to the kind of serious boss music. <laughs> Normally, this game handles its tone very well, but sometimes in the transition, things get a little bit lost. Well, by all means, one last build for the events. Or rather, two last builds. Now in 30 minutes. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a bit of uh, background chatter. Unfortunately, people like to talk when I'm working. I guess that's kind of the problem when you live with your family. Sometimes you guys bicker, sometimes they talk while you're meant to be working, sometimes they talk with their midst of a call. I've had all three of those. But at the end of the day, you know, I live here, there's nowhere else for me to go, so at the end of the day, I just kind of need to grip my teeth and bear it, even if it just drives me up the wall. Those are both not event ships, by the way. One hour and 30 minutes. How long has this already been going? Wow, 19 minutes. <laughs> yeah, talk about a long episode. Well, it's time for me to make a cut whilst I do my normal thing, so I'll see you guys in one second for you, about 20 to 30 minutes of my time. See ya. That was a lot longer than I expected, to be completely honest. Sorry about that, I was asked to do something. Because hey, you're not recording for a second, you're cleaning the yard. 
Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Ah, whatever. Well, this episode's already been long enough, so I deserve some punishment for wasting people's time. Also, I want to point out that uh, Zara, Pola, and I do believe Trento were all sunk by HMS Warspite off the coast of Madagascar. So yeah, this is technically their swan song. Even though actually I think that this is not Madagascar, yeah, it's nearby Italy. I don't know, I don't honestly know the timeline of World War II is... Good God, Hood. <laughs> Came down to it, the Sardinian warships weren't worth a damn. I thought talk about being the greatest fleet of the Mediterranean, the end they couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. I was out of a mistake to entrust the Mediterranean to them. If they're not carry operations, and we have showing accuracy from their radars, the Royal Navy's victory was practically guaranteed. The observation data has already been forwarded to research and development departments, so they should prove invaluable in the development of new weapons. In the end, that's all of those insufferably arrogant Sardegians worth. <laughs> Furthermore, Bismarck has finally begun to stir. When she returns once more, the lands and sea will soon belong to us. Those who betray the Iron Blood shall quickly find that we are their judge, jury, and executioner. As of now, can I trust you to monitor the Stark Dicta Empire? Aye. I want eyes on their fleet around the clock. We're eyes eyes of treachery immediately. Affirmative. Long live Iron Blood. Well, that was a very, very, very long <laughs> go round. That allow me to check something. Memories of I think it's somewhere near the bottom. And that'd be events. Ah, oh, geez, where is it? I want to see like if I got every single cutscene. And for real tragic comedy, twenty-two out of twenty-three. What on earth? Well, not like it matters at this point. I've done pretty much everything, and I got two more cubes. That means, just a few more things before I wrap up. Please don't leave just yet. Just gonna get this out of the way. Hello, Norfo. I probably actually check the comments on the fly there. More build, one hour and 55 minutes. That is... I have gotten so many Zaras, but only one Paula. But anyway. Trent Trento? Carabinier, and just a little bit more. Conte de Carvor, and finally, the source of my long Log obsession. Latorio. And my one last trip will be to pick up. Well, that's good. We try to grind a few points to pick up this gun, but that won't be on screen. For this has been Emperial Tragic Comedy. And one more thing before I do go, as a matter of fact. I just have to do this for posterity. Because you know how life be, right? Where is she? Ah, here we are. If you like this content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining me on this very, very long journey. Receiving Dragon, signing off.